students myself dilip udani assistant professor at lj institute of engineering and technology today we will start with mathematics 2 and i will teach you a new unit that is ordinary differential equations of higher order and today i will teach you new topic that is homogeneous linear ordinary differential equations of higher order with constant coefficients so let's start first of all i will make you understand what is homogeneous linear ordinary differential equations of higher order with constant coefficient a differential equation of the form a0 nth derivative of y with respect to x plus a1 n minus 1 derivative of y with respect to x plus a2 n minus 2 derivative of y with respect to x plus dash 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 plus a n y that is equals to zero is called homogeneous linear ordinary differential equation of higher order with constant coefficient as the maximum derivative is n so the order of this differential equation is n and a zero a one a two up to a n are constants here. capital d equals to d by dx is called differential operator differential operator if in this equation that is this one if we replace d by dx by capital d then we have a0 dny plus a1 dn minus 1y plus a2 dn minus 2y plus dash 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 plus en y equals to Zero. Now, if we take y common, we have a zero d raised to n plus a one d raised to n minus one plus a two d raised to n minus two plus dash 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 plus a n y equals to zero. and this whole bracket is nothing but function of d so function of dy equals to 0 function of dy equals to 0 is called homogeneous linear ordinary differential equation of higher order with constant coefficient now i will make you understand how to solve the differential equation of the form function of dy equals to 0 okay now we will see general solution of a homogeneous linear ordinary differential equation of higher order with constant coefficient and the equation is like this f of dy equals to 0 to solve this differential equation what we will do first of all we will write down f of d equals to 0 now in this equation we will just replace d by m so we have f of n equals to 0 now f of n that is nothing but the equation in m and that equation is called auxiliary equation and uh, we will solve that particular auxiliary equation and from that we will be having different values of m and based on different values of m we have total four cases 
and in today's lecture we are going to discuss case number 1 and case number 2 now i will discuss with you case number 1 what is case number 1 real and distinct values of distinct values of m say if we get the values of m as say m1 equals to 2 and m2 equals to 3 so in this case what will be the general solution of f of dy equals to 0 that is y equals to c1 e raised to 2x plus c2 e raised to 3x in this way okay now if you will get the values of m say m1 equals to 1 m2 equals to 5 m3 equals to minus 2 now in this case what will be the solution of f of dy equals to 0 that is y equals to c1 e raised to 1x plus c2 e raised to 5x plus c3 e raised to minus 2x in general if you are getting m1 m2 up to and then real and distinct values then the solution of the differential equation f of dy equals to 0 that will be y equals to c1 e raised to m1x plus c2 e raised to m2x plus dash 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 plus cn e raised to mnx now i will uh, make you understand this concept with the help of one example now this is example number 1 we have to solve the differential equation 2d square y plus dy minus 6y equals to 0 here the given differential equation is 2d square y plus dy minus 6y equals to 0 now first of all we will take y common so we have 2d square plus d minus 6y equals to 0 so this is of the form function of dy equals to 0 now to solve this differential equation what we will do we will write down f of d equals to 0 and we will just replace d by m so we have f of m equals to 0 now we will replace d by m in f of d f of d is 2d square plus d minus 6 so what is f of m just replace d by m so we have f of m equals to 2m square plus 1m minus 6 now we will equate this auxiliary equation to zero and then after we will factorize the equation in m okay so we have 2m square plus 1m minus 6 that is equals to zero now how we will factorize this equation we will split the middle term 1m and how to split the middle term 1m we will just multiply 6 by 2 6 to the 12 so we will find out two numbers such that the product is 6 into 2 that is 12 and the subtraction is 1 and those numbers are 4 3 to 12 and 4 minus 3 that is 1 so we will write down first term 2m square as it is and then after we will write down plus 4m then after minus 3m and minus 6 now we will take common right from these two terms and from these two terms if we will take common 2m from these two terms then 
into bracket we have m plus 2 then after now taking minus 3 common from these two terms so into bracket we have m plus 2 that is equal to 0 now taking m plus 2 common from this expression we have m plus 2 in one bracket and 2m minus 3 in second bracket now if we equate m plus 2 to 0 and 2m minus 3 to 0 we have m equals to minus 2 or if you will equate 2m minus 3 to 0 you will get 2m equals to 3 so we have m equals to 3 by 2 now as you can see that this is the example of case number 1 as we are getting real and distinct values so the general solution that will be y equals to c1 t raised to minus 2x plus c2 t raised to 3 by 2x so this is the general solution of the given differential equation so this was all about example number one and case number one okay now we will see the general solution of homogeneous linear ordinary differential equation of higher order with constant coefficient and in this topic we will see case number two now what is case two case two is real and repeated rules So if you are getting the values of m1 as c1 m2 is also 1 and say n3 that is equals to c2 so in this case what will be the solution that is y equals to c1 for first one you will write down e raised to 1x then after plus now next one is repeated so you will write down c2 multiplied by x e raised to 1x plus c3 e raised to 2x in this way we will write down the solution so if you are getting the values of m as m1 that is equals to 1 m2 that is equals to 1 m3 that is equals to 1 and m4 that is equals to c2 so in this case what will be the general solution y that is equals to 4 first one you will write down c1 e raised to 1x plus second one second one is repeated so you will write down c2 x e raised to 1x then after again this one is repeated so you will write down c3 x square e raised to 1x c4 e raised to 2x in this way right this is how we will write down the solution for the differential equation f of dy equals to 0 when the roots are real and repeated one in general say if you are getting Two values repeated one is m1 right say m1 is repeated m1 m1 and other values that is m2 m3 and up to mn are non repeated values then in this case what will be the general solution that is y equals to c1 e raised to m1x plus c2 x e raised to m1 x plus c3 e raised to m2 x plus c4 e raised to m3 x plus dash 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 plus cn e raised to mn x in this way we can write down the general solution of the differential equation f of dy equals to 0 when we are in case number 2. Now we will see one example uh, related to this topic.
we have to solve the differential equation d square y plus 4 dy plus 4 y equals to 0. And here we have been given initial conditions that is y of 0 equals to 1 and y dash 0 equals to 1. Here the differential equation is of this form d square y plus 4 dy plus 4 y equals to 0. First of all, we will take y common. So we have d square plus 4 d plus 4 y equals to 0. So we have f of d equals to d square plus 4 d plus 4. Now to solve this differential equation, we will write down f of d equals to 0 and we will replace d by m. So we have f of m equals to 0. If we replace d by m, we have m square plus 4m plus 4 equals to 0. Now we will factorize this equation. To factorize this equation, we will split the middle term 4m. We will find two numbers such that the product is 4 1 of 4 and uh, addition is 4 and definitely those two numbers are 2 2 of 4. So we will write down m square. We will split 4m as 2m plus 2m plus 4 that is equal to 0. Now we will take m common from first two terms and then after 2 common from next two terms. If we will take m common, right, so into bracket we have m plus 2 and if we will take 2 common, so into bracket we have m plus 2 equals to 0. Now we will take m plus 2 common from the whole expression, so we have m plus 2 in one bracket and m plus 2 in second bracket, that is equals to 0. Now we will equate these two factors to 0. So we have m equals to minus 2, m equals to minus 2. Now you can see that here two values are repeated and those are minus 2 and minus 2. So in this case, the general solution will be y equals to c1 e raised to minus 2x plus c2. Here you can see that this minus 2 is repeated. So we will write down x e raised to minus 2x. Now this is the general solution. Now based on initial conditions that is y of 0 equals to 1 and y dash 0 equals to 1 we have to find out the values of c1 and c2. Now what is the meaning of y of 0 equals to 1? It means when x equals to 0 y equals to 1. So in this general solution we will replace y by 1 and x by 0. If we replace y by 1 and c1, if we replace x by 0 over here, you will get e raised to 0 and e raised to 0 is 1. Then after, if we replace x by 0 over here, you will get 0. And if we multiply 0 by any value, you will get. So here directly we are getting the value of c1 and c1 equals to 1. So we are getting the value of c1 and c1 equals to 1. And here the second initial condition is y dash 0 equals to 1. So what does it mean? It means when x equals to 0, we have y dash equals to 1. So what we will do, we will just differentiate the general solution and that is y equals to c1 e raised to minus 2x plus c2 x e raised to minus 2x. So derivative of y is y dash c1 that is a constant value that will be as it is and derivative of e raised to minus 2x that is e raised to minus 2x and in place of x we have minus 2x so again we will differentiate minus 2x so minus 2 will be as it is and derivative of x is 1. Now we will keep c2 as it is. Now on x e raised to minus 2x we will apply product rule. So x will be as it is and again derivative of e raised to minus 2x that is e raised to minus 2x 
into minus 2 then after plus sign t raised to minus 2x will be as it is and derivative of x is 1. Okay, now in this equation we will apply the initial condition y dash 0 equals to 1. It means when x equals to 0 we have y dash equals to 1. Now we will replace y dash by 1 and x by 0. So this is equals to if you replace x by 0 over here, you will get e raised to 0 and e raised to 0 is 1. And if you multiply 1 by minus 2, you will get minus 2 and the value of c1 is 1. So the overall simplification is minus 2. Then after this plus sign c2 and into bracket, if you replace x by 0 over here, this term will be eliminated. And if you replace x by 0 over here, you will get e raised to 0 and e raised to 0 is 1 and 0 plus 1 that is 1 okay so if you will take this minus 2 towards left hand side you will get 1 plus 2 and 1 plus 2 is 3 so we are getting the value of c2 that is equals to 3 so here we are getting the value of c1 equals to 1 and c2 equals to 3 now we will put down the values of c1 and c2 in the general solution so y equals to, if you replace the c1 by 1, we will get 1 into e raised to minus 2x. Then after plus, if you replace c2 by 3, we have 3x e raised to minus 2x. So based on initial conditions, y of 0 equals to 1 and y day 0 equals to 1, we have this solution and this solution is called particular solution. The solution in terms of constant values that is C1 and C2 that is called general solution, right? And based on initial condition, right? We will find out the values of constant and that solution is called particular solution. Hence the particular solution in this case that is y equals to 1 e raised to minus 2x plus 3x e raised to minus 2x. So this was all about case number two. So in today's lecture, we have seen the solution of higher order homogeneous linear ordinary differential equation with constant coefficients. And we have discussed case number one and case number two. And we have seen what is a general solution and what is a particular solution. So this was all about today's session. In the next lecture, we will see case number 3 and case number 4. Thank you for watching this video.